Hello GeoGuessr slash GeoWizard fans. I was watching Tom's latest video today and uh, I saw he ran into a bit of a problem. He was... it was the one where he was taking uh, photos sent in from various fans across the world and trying to guess exactly where that photo was taken. So his problem was that given a photo of a landscape like this, how do you know exactly where the photo was taken because presumably you can do something in which you line various buildings or landmarks up and then that line aligns with the camera but how do you how do you find that so uh i had a few thoughts i thought maybe you just draw a line straight down but that's not it and eventually i came up with this method which I think works perfectly, but I mean, if it doesn't, then let me know in the comments below. So the first thing you want to do is you want to imagine that you are sitting on a completely, infinitely large flat plane, and then you want to think, where would the horizon be? So essentially, that just means we're going to ignore any mountains or buildings and just think if this bit of London was perfectly flat, where would the horizon be? And you're going to draw a line that shows that. So luckily for us, London is actually pretty flat, so it's very easy to draw a horizon. But you can imagine this would be a lot harder in a mountainous area. Then what you're going to do is you're going to see how large your image is. I should mention this only works for uncropped images. If your image is cropped, then the center of the image is not going to actually be where the camera was pointing and then you're going to run into problems in which uh, the line you draw is distorted by lens distortion so yeah there are ways to work around and sort of find out where the true center of, of a cropped image is using vanishing points but that's going to be too complex so we're just going to use uncropped images. We can see this image, if you look down here, it shows you where your cursor is. This image is 2383 by 2383 large. Okay, and so halving that is 1191-ish by 1191-ish. So we're going to move our cursor to that center point. Uh, kind of difficult. Okay, there we go. It doesn't have to be exact, but you know, the more exact you get it, the better it's going to be. And then you're going to draw a line that is exactly perpendicular, 90 degrees, to this imaginary horizon that you've drawn. So I would say about that is, uh, that is about perpendicular. You're going to let that go. And now what this line is, is this is a line that um, passes over our camera and various other objects and is completely undisturbed by lens distortion or perspective or anything. This straight line is because it comes radially out from the center. This is uh, one of a set of straight lines in this image which actually are truly straight. Um, if I draw this line here, that's not a straight line in real 3D space. But this one, because it passes through the center, is a truly straight line. And so now, what we're going to do is we're going to just pick landmarks and we're going to find them on the map. So this is St. Paul's. Oh, too far in there. Oh, okay, so this is St. Paul's. This is a quite distinctive triangular building with a rooftop um, terrace garden thing. So we're going to look on Google Maps for that. Here's St. Paul's. Here is our rooftop garden. Yeah, they, they seem to match. We can go in 3D, we can check that they match. Now what you're going to do is so the yellow line, it passes just over the corner of that building. So 
just about here I think and then you're gonna pick another landmark I'm gonna say this um, this circular thing here um, and so we're looking for a building that has two circular glass roofs uh, glass windows I guess I don't know and we can see them here they're actually ovals but oh well so we're gonna make sure our line passes through just about I don't know five-sixths of the way along I think that'll do and now we're just gonna extend our line out check that check that that's no nope, it's gotta come down a little bit down a bit more up a bit up a bit more about there okay I'm happy with that now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a look along the line and this is where the guesswork comes in so I actually took this photo I know exactly where it was taken from but you could work it out just based on how high you are um, where people are likely to take a photo so having a look along this line um, well here's the sky garden it's a big fat building uh, on Fenchurch Street where which is open to the public and I happen to know that I did take this photo from Fenchurch Street and as you can see if I turn 3D off how do I how do I get back into 2D here we are so directly from above we can see this line does actually pass directly through Fenchurch Street um, sorry not Fenchurch Street it passes through the Sky Garden on Fenchurch Street which is where I took this photo so yeah that's it uh, I think I've got the proof of concept it, it works in my head I haven't made any sort of mathematical proof I guess I could give it a go um, if anyone else wants to do it for me that'd be great and if anyone else has any problems with what I've done just mention it in the comments um, and yeah try and get this video to Tom so that hopefully uh, he can start using this method right thanks for watching bye